This is day four of our trip to Maui. This is a really big day to me because we're gonna go on one of my favorite places and that's called the Road to Hana. Hawaii is about the only place that I know where it can be raining and sunny at the same time all the time. That's why they have a rainbow on the license plate, I think. big traffic jam right here because cleanup crews are cleaning up a landslide caused by all the rain. This is a pretty good outlook on the road to Hana. I haven't seen this before, but you just walk across the road and it's right here. It looks awesome. Okay, so here we have the legendary banana bread that is found on the way to Hana. It seems like banana bread is a big thing in Maui now. Let me try that. Mmm, that is good. In case you're ever on the road to Hana and want to try the banana bread, the store is called Halfway to Hana, and the bread is amazing. It was already super wet and humid, but within about 30 seconds of landing my drone, it began to completely downpour. So I narrowly missed losing the drone into the forest or the waterfall. Later on down the road, we arrived at a place called Pu'a'a Ka'a Falls, and my brother Joel and I decided to go on a little waterfall hike. It seemed like a good idea to leave the main tourist area because there are some extremely vicious animals lingering around. Viaduct that bridge yeah. here. What could possibly go wrong? The stream seemed to be coming from a small tunnel on the side of the mountain, so we thought with all the flooding and rain going on, it was not a good idea to go in there. I think these tunnels were an ancient irrigation system, maybe by the native Hawaiians or maybe by western farmers who came later. Don't take too many more steps past where I'm at. Okay. <laughs> Woo! That right there is about a 20 foot cliff in front of us. But the funny thing is, it's actually probably a good place to swim when it's not rainy and flooding like it is here. You want to take the quick way down? 
Check out this crazy eucalyptus tree. It feels like pulp. You can just stick your finger in and it leaves an imprint. We only have a few hours of daylight left and we want to see one beach before we go. This beach is called Wayana Panapa Beach and it's got the blackest sand that I've ever seen. There's also a lot of caves around here, but I don't think we're gonna have time to see them because the rain is closing in fast. Right now we're heading down to one of the better black sand beaches that I've been to. It's got some cool little sea caves and also uh, some big waves and it's really green. Here's what Maui black sand looks like close up. It's definitely a different than regular sand. It's not quite as fine and it feels a lot different to walk on, but it's the blackest sand that I've seen. How's that rain, Mason? It's horrible! Get me back out there! <laughs> 